Hey everybody, you're very welcome back to In Forest and Lands. My name is Joe Price, I'm a Wilderness Living Skills Instructor and also a European representative for this amazing brand here, and that is Grail. Grail is a water purifier, and I will make more in-depth videos on how to use the Grail and what goes into the mechanics of the Grail, but this video is to address extending the life of your filter. Uh, some people have got in touch, and understandably so, saying that they're not getting the full lifespan out of their filter. It's not a problem with the filter, usually that is just some user error and I am guilty of it myself. The filter cartridge itself, which you can buy spare ones for, and I'd always recommend that, is good for 250 litres. Now 250 litres is an awful lot of water, it's enough for anybody on any trip when they're outside, but when used daily, it, it can run into some issues when you're not paying so much attention to your water. So I thought, using my knowledge and experience with the Grail, that I can uh, remove some of those questions around extending the life of your filter. So first steps first, when you go to collect the water, I tend to like to collect the water in a bucket and bring it back to camp and I can purify it and run through my two-step program, which you'll see here. But the reason why I like to collect the water is because when you collect water from a stream, if especially if it's not a fast moving stream, just your presence there will cause particulates and turbidity to come up in the water. Maybe you've got to step onto the riverbank, maybe you put your grail in and you're sloshing it around or you make contact with the riverbed, even though the water Water may look clean, you'll still get sediment and particulates in the water. Like here, there's some pine cones from the river where we took it there, and I can see some sediment in the bottom. That's why I prefer to just take it with the bucket, bring the bucket back to camp and let that sediment kind of settle down and get a good look at it. Because that is the problem with the pressure filters. This is a, probably one of the most advanced portable purifiers that you can carry. And in such, those particulates and pine cones and moss and sand and all the gunk that you pull out of a river can clog up these filters. So I like to bring it back to camp. How the Grail works, for those who ain't aware, is it's a pressure fed system. So you can see the filter cartridge attached to the bottom of this Ultra Press. There's two models, the Geo Press and the Ultra Press. Attached to the bottom of this Ultra Press. When pushed down inside the chamber, the water pressure moves up through the filter and all the fine um, screening meshes, deionized and carbon, up into the chamber here where you got your clean drinking water. But in this vessel can gather sediment. So the way to do that, or the way to extend the life of your filter, is by bringing your water back to camp or filtering it at source, but it's just to remove the sediment. So using something like this, which is something I designed to work with the Grail to help extend those lives of the filter, uh, a kind of a purpose-built mill bank bag. You can use a bandana, hell, you can use a sock, you can use whatever you wish, but taking that sediment out of the water is the one thing that will help the Grail. It will remove everything. We all know that the purification powers of the Grail are not in question, but the one thing that it can't remove is sediment. That's your job. So taking the water from this and placing it into a piece of fine cloth like this, which is designed to be used outdoors and hung from a tree, you can drain your water into the chamber that's here. You can then use the grail as is intended and press it down. And by using just this simple piece of material or any piece of material, you'll extend the life of your grail filter. If you find that after a few presses, that your grail is getting harder and harder to press down. It should flow easy. Gurgle, gurgle. If you find that it is getting harder and harder to press down, chances are you're just missing that crucial step of taking sediment out of your water. And this is not a problem that's um, entirely exclusive to just grail filters. Any filter that you use um, from any brand is susceptible to particulates in water. But having these, this two-step system of taking the water from source and just running it through some fine screen material will extend the life of any filter, especially the grail filter, 100%. And you can go on your journey then and do it. But it's always nice to have an extra cartridge just in case we all get tired outside and we all miss these tricks and sometimes you're just thirsty and you want to get water into you as fast as you can. But that's how you do it. It's simple. It doesn't need to be a long-winded process or a long-winded video. Water, Millbank bag, piece of cotton material, a sock, anything you will, just to take that turbidity out of the water. That's the step that you got to do to extend the life of your filter. Thank you for joining me here at In Forest and Lands. Um, please check out my other social media links and I'll see you in the next video.